There are several great VR headsets like the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift available in the market. These headsets provide immersive experiences, but to get the best out of these headsets, you need to get one of the best VR-ready laptops. Getting a laptop with the best specifications is an ideal approach to enjoy virtual reality these days. A powerful laptop is one that has the best specs. What is unique about the Acer Predator Helios 300 is its affordability. In its price range, it competes against the gaming laptops that are hundreds of dollars more expensive. It is a great budget gaming laptop with some impressive specifications. The chassis of the device is sturdy. However, the screen bezels are plastic, which means you don't get the best metal feel, but you surely need to compromise because of the affordable price. It is an average laptop when it comes to dimensions. It weighs 5.1 pounds and is neither heavy nor light. It has an average or good enough build quality. It has 1080p Full HD display and features a 144Hz great refresh, which is great for gaming. The display colors are sharp and decent. The keyboard and the touchpad of the Helios 300 are relatively good and come with multicolor backlighting options. The best thing is that you get a great GPU, the GeForce GTX 1660T by NVIDIA, in this laptop at an amazingly affordable price. The CPU is an Intel Core i7-9750H. It comes with 16GB of RAM along with 256GB of permanent memory in the form of SSD. This laptop is an excellent option if you are looking for a budget VR laptop to experience virtual reality without spending thousands of dollars. The display on the Razer Blade 15 is worth drooling over, courtesy of the edge-to-edge -edge paneling, and an overall resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The 15.6-inch, factory calibrated screen also assumes a refresh rate of 144Hz, thereby catering to your gaming indulgences. Furthermore, Razer brings forth a matte screen that boasts of excellent sunlight visibility, in case you want to take the gadget out in the open. Next in line is the 16GB high-speed RAM, which is a reliable asset for the advanced professionals and the more enthusiastic gamers. Storage-wise, Razer allows you access to a 512GB SSD module. Be it the dual-channel system memory or the existing storage drive, Razer allows you to upgrade each, depending on preferences and requirements. As far as the operating system is concerned, you get Windows 10 support right out of the box. Productivity-wise, you get access to the Razer Chroma keyboard with a commendable key travel followed by amplified speakers, a smooth touchpad, and a serviceable webcam with biometric security enhancement. Specifically, the Zephyrus G14 measures 0.7 by 12.8 by 8.7 inches and weighs 3.52 pounds. The footprint here is quite compact, while the weight is great for a gaming laptop. Those gaming components add discernible heft compared to general use laptops but Asus has done an admirable job keeping the weight and size down. As for the screen on our model, I think it's a sweet spot. Full HD resolution is the right pick for these components, and it allows for higher frame rates to take advantage of the 120Hz display. An RTX 2060 won't maintain 120fps in plenty of games, but it will go well over 60fps in many of them and hit 120fps in some, so locking it under a 60Hz ceiling would be a waste. It also features adaptive sync, to help keep the frame rate and refresh rates in lockstep for smoother gameplay. Visually, the display quality is good, with plenty of brightness at max and bold colors. What remains on the Zephyrus G14 is the Ergo Lift hinge seen in Asus Zen Books, which performs roughly the same function in a different way. The bottom of the display panel actually reaches under the laptop, propping it upwards when pulled fully open. This way, you get the same keyboard tilt, improving the typing experience and allowing more air to flow through the bottom of the laptop, but it feels sturdier. For starters, all the pointy edges and sharp bisecting angles have vanished in favor of rounded corners and silky smooth finishes. And instead of anodized aluminum, the majority of the Area 51 meters chassis is constructed from magnesium alloy in a color dubbed Dark Side of the Moon. The soft touch finish invites you to touch while rebuffing even the oiliest of fingerprints. And while this presentation is mild by Alienware standards, this is still Alienware as signified by the glowing turquoise alien head near the top of the lid. In the bottom left corner, you'll find rather large embossed lettering spelling out A51. 
There's more customizable LED lighting outlining the rear vents, showing off a fun little honeycomb pattern. The Area 51 meters can handle all the peripherals you've got and then some. Along the system's right, you'll find a pair of USB 3.1 ports. Another sits on the left with a Thunderbolt 3 port, and jacks for the headphone and microphone. The two DC jacks can be found between the rear vents with an HDMI 2.0 port, a mini display port and a gigabit ethernet jack. To start with, you get access to the powerful Intel Core i9-9980HK chipset. The existing CPU, courtesy of the OctaCore architecture, is one of the more efficient processing components in the current computing landscape, best characterized by the single-core turbo clock speeds of up to 5.00 GHz. Instead of getting you a 10th gen, over-the-top CPU, ROG concentrates on the gaming prerequisites more than anything else, especially when you are looking to play FPS games in the multiplayer mode. The CPU can fittingly offload a few demanding tasks to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 GPU which comes as the overclocked version and is packed with 8GB of VRAM. The memory allocation, with 64GB of system memory to show for, ensures that the gadget can double down as a professionally equipped machine. When it comes to storage, you get access to a 1.5TB SSD module, as three separate 512GB units with RAID 0 compatibility, resulting in improved reading and writing performances. However, it is the display that deserves all the attention. While ROG could have persisted with a 4K panel, it chose to go for the more gaming-friendly 17.3-inch FHD display. The overall resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels results in decent brightness levels. However, it is the 144Hz screen refresh rate and the 3 milliseconds overdrive response time that steal the show, with minimal screen tearing, trailing, and instances related to ghosting.